hello everyone welcome back to my channel thanks for clicking on this video if you're new here thank you for all the new people from my previous two videos thank you guys so much i think i read all the comments thank you guys this is not a makeup tutorial this is not me really doing makeup i'm just like filming videos today filming content but i want to just have like a little bit of something on my face so that's what that is and i have a pimple because i'm on my period so there's that but anyways thank you so much for um sticking around and being on my channel and i just want to talk about like the internet and mental health and i think this is going to be a bit of a vlog but it's I'm not even going to lie, it's hard for me to film myself doing things like, you know how people film themselves drawing, right? Like, I am always on my phone because, like, when I'm, I draw on my iPad, but, like, I also use my phone to, like, sometimes I look at the phone while I'm drawing on my iPad and all that kind of stuff. So, like, it's just hard for me to, like, record my, <laughs> it's okay for me to film myself talking to the camera, but, like, recording myself doing other things to me is just, like, kind of strange. Which doesn't really make sense because I, like, if I'm vlogging and holding the camera and walking around, like, traveling, that's different than, like, putting up a, a camera and <laughs> recording myself reading, vlogging, I mean, drawing, all that. All of that. So, uh, this literally gave out last time. So, for those of you who don't know, because every time there's new people, I have to, like, kind of talk about myself and what I do and all that kind of stuff. I am an artist. I am a digital artist. I um, have been drawing my whole life. I studied animation, and I did not graduate because I ran out of money to go to school. And I only have one year left, so my plan is to move back to Tennessee and stay there for a year, get in-state tuition, and eventually finish school. So, yeah, I'm an artist. That's my thing. I love it. It's just, like, when I'm... I've worked other jobs that have nothing to do with art, but, like, it's hard for me to stay in those fields because art is what I'm passionate about. And I did freelance art at one point and then got scammed um because i did not have an artist contract so that was that and i did freelance animation as well and was working at an agency but it was like a short term thing so that was a very interesting experience um so yeah that is my life dream is to be a professional artist and get paid to draw <laughs> that's what i love that is what i love so i'm currently working on some animated short films i've done one in 2019 and i am working on three other ones not simultaneously kind of sort of but that's not healthy so yeah I am originally from Austin, Texas, and I've lived all over the place. So right now I live in Oregon, and I've lived in Massachusetts, Texas, Tennessee. And if you hear noise in the background, my neighbors are always literally doing construction and those sorts of things. So like that's the sound that you're probably going to hear, and that's what that is. So... I love traveling as if you've scrolled on my page you can see I went to Paris twice I've been to Japan twice and I fell in love with Paris it was my dream to go there after Japan and I fell in love 
with the city and I want to live there. Because I've lived in America for 28 years, so I'm kind of just over it at this point, honestly. So I want to find a way to live in France. And stay there and split my time between France and Japan. Because I love both places, so I want to live there in both those places. <laughs> I'm also a singer. I sing in English and Japanese and I taught myself Japanese when I started teaching myself Japanese when I was uh, 11 years old so that's my other thing that I do I have my an original song called time on this channel and it's also on Spotify Apple Music TikTok those places and I wrote the lyrics and yeah so that's that's it so my creative I like I explained in my videos like I fell into commentary on just because I wanted to just share my opinions and like maybe my family or my friends didn't care about a certain topic so I talked about it on the internet and unintentionally went viral so that is how I got to where I am today <laughs> and yeah so but deep down art is my passion and that's um my oldest videos are like literally about like anime manga like my manga collection like that's really what i care about like i do not care about celebrities on that level like i couldn't i don't care <laughs> and i also am an author i accidentally went viral on wetpad 11 years ago and then rewrote my book and put it out on amazon and it's called the meeting and i'm working on a sequel because my book on Wattpad got 200,000 reads and then got um the unfinished sequel called Forever and Always got 100,000 reads so like you can check that out in the description please and you I also have a guide on how to be an author because that's very important and I am a person who like I learned how to do everything myself like no one like taught me <laughs> I watch like tutorials like in the sense of like I no one taught me how to be an artist I would buy how to draw books and just like copy them and force myself to kind of learn so it's one of those things where like obviously I'm not freaking Leonardo da Vinci nor am I trying to be I'm trying to be to me so like <laughs> I'm trying to be my own standard of good like when I'm satisfied with the art I'm satisfied with the art like when I'm done drawing I stop drawing I'm not a person who's like oh I have to work on this painting or well I don't paint I have to work on this for 30 hours before it's done like no when I'm done I'm done and I'm just like okay like this is good enough for me because I'm not gonna like destroy myself <laughs> over because a lot of artists actually get very sick because we overwork ourselves and like we um just have back problems arm problems all that kind of stuff so yeah fun fact last year i was working a night shift job i don't talk about that on this channel i was working the night shift so i would literally work 7 30 to 7 30 and i don't even know i barely survived because <laughs> literally all i had to hear was like the hammering and the sawing because my neighbor is a carpenter and then the people across the street are doing some yard work so like that was what it was last year it was so crazy also um i started a jewelry brand i have a jewelry and accessories brand called les bronze and i talked about that on this channel and <laughs> we're on a little bit of a hiatus until we being me like i'm the sole owner of the company i'm the only employee and we're on a i'm on a little hiatus um until early like it's supposed to be until like next month but yeah there's yeah so there's <laughs> um so there's that i have a video all about that and you can check out the instagram page um so if you go to my instagram page which is just tumiyuki the same as this page like i have an in actually in the description i have links to everything so you could check all that out and yeah i um yeah it's i hate oregon with a passion but let me tell you why because some people watch this video they're like, i live in oregon i love it it's almost june it is literally the end of may and it's cloudy it ow ow it's cloudy, it's rainy, it's dreary, it's not my bracelet. Like, you know when you have bracelets and they like get on, they, they're like bracelets that go in and out, like, 
and then they get on your skin and then your skin is like pinched yeah so anyways um literally my uh, oregon is dark it's cloudy it's dreary it's literally just foreboding the weather is it's always like you're in one of those depressing novels where it's just raining all the time and everybody's just sad and it's just gray and it's just like oh my goodness and the people are just weird people so anyways i'm saving money to move out and i'm um, i went apartment hunting if you scroll through my channel you just you can see all those things so i went apartment hunting in nashville in october and that was amazing and basically like i was working this contract job and then at the end of the contract job they're like we're paying you in six weeks and i'm like you literally have got to be kidding me right now like you literally have got to be kidding me so i'm literally just gonna be looking for a full-time job with benefits obviously because you know i need that 401k i need that <laughs> insurance and so um yeah there's that and i'm an artist a musician <laughs> what else is there i started a jewelry brand the business lady an influencer that's it that's all i do. and a writer yeah five things <laughs> those are my claims to fame so <laughs> so um yeah guys that's it that's all i wanted to talk about i yeah so i've been like not doing well lately mentally like things have been really hard off camera but like i just um have to keep going because life literally ebbs and flows and can change in an instant and i'm just hopeful that like like you know things any at any moment the right person could you know hit you up with a good opportunity or whatever the case may be and you have to just like my friend and i were just talking about it you really just have to advocate for yourself and keep going and keep like keep keep on keeping on because like this is life you know what i mean like it's life and and this is like life like in the sense of like things are not permanent good and bad the good things are not permanent but the bad things are also not permanent which is the best part is that like like i may have had let's say i had a horrible 2022 but then in 2023 i went to japan and went to my best friend's wedding and went to france and had the time of literally had the time of my life and then um went to nashville and went to an award show which is one of my dreams and then had so many dreams fulfilled so like uh, like 2024 like any day can it can, you can have a bad moment but like anything can change like if i was like if i was like like depressed let's say in 2022 and i was like i don't want to be here and i made that decision i would not have been able to see all the great things that happened in 2023 you know what i'm saying so like even if i'm having a bad 2024 so far right it's just so far and like the r the rest of it can be better next week can be better tomorrow can be better you know things can turn around like this so i just have to stay optimistic and um yeah so that's it also guys i have a paypal and i'm not saying this to say like literally like you know how in, on the tv ministries and the charities if you feel led to give no i have a paypal account and a coffee account where you can buy someone a coffee which is like you give them three dollars and i say this because people have emailed me before asking me hey do you have a paypal like yes i do and it's in my um it's in my description so like some people just they give their cre favorite creators money that's that's it like i'm not pressuring you i'm just letting you know because people have asked me okay so <laughs> it's in the description everything you need to know about me um, after youtube like where are you other than youtube it's in the description so yeah okay <laughs> all right bye guys <laughs> see you in the next video goodbye you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Do you remember that show? They brought it back, but not the same. Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye.